Today, I rode the snowmobile into work because we've got a lot of snow. A blizzard has hit Elm Creek, and uh, we got about, I think, 10 inches of snow. So we got a lot of contracts in the city of Elm Creek that we got to take care of. And uh, first, what we got to do is get the equipment warmed up and ready to go. Mako's en route. I don't know what he's driving. Probably his F450. And yeah, we actually built a brand new snowplow shop. We've got new trucks, new skid steers. We've got a brand new tractor. A little, uh, yeah, a big wheel loader. I almost said small, but check out the boss plow on this thing. Uh, it takes up two highway lanes. So, absolute beast. Sounds like Mako's in the shop. There he is. Pulling around the other side. All right, let's open up the door for him. There we go. Click button one. Mako, Mako, let's get to work, boy. Come on. You can leave your truck there. Uh, we're going to use the work trucks today since they already got the plows attached. And we're going to get heading out there because it's still snowing. We got to get that first layer off. And then we got the night shift, too. If you guys are excited for today's snowplow video, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, too, with your notifications on. That way you don't miss the next snowplowing episode. But, all right, we got to get these doors opened up. We got to get the skid steers warmed up. Let's see here. Uh, there we go. Button. The big hydraulic door on straps. Look at this thing. Very, very cool. Okay, then the next thing we got to do is get in the cat skid steer. These are 289 uh, skid steers, so they're very nice. They're actually diesels, so very nice skid steers. Mako's got the one warmed up behind me. All right, Mako, let's get to work on our parking lot, dude. We got to get this taken care of first, and then we're good to take care of the rest of the city. All righty, there we go. These new skid steer plows are supposed to work good. There we go. Let's drop it down. Okay, hold on. A little bit of adjusting, but look at that. Pushes it right to the side. No problem at all. The nice thing about these new boss box plows is we're going to be able to get big piles and just scoop them all the way to the end of the driveway. We don't have to keep readjusting. There we go. And then we can just keep pushing the snow. Oh, there we go. Kind of lose traction a little bit. But other than that, this thing just takes it out like nothing. Look at this thing. All right. Hold on. We got to readjust it here. There we go. Okay. Got the front gate here. This is for authorized vehicles only. If you did not know, if you're not authorized, you cannot come in the snowplow shop. I uh, built a new fence, the white picket fence around the edging. And that's super nice. You know, just keeps it nice and secure, all the vehicles that we have in the property. Oh, there we go. We got a nice pile going here. Oh, no. All right. Let's not leave anything behind. Okay, let's just keep let's keep going straight because if I turn, I'm going to miss some. There we go. Look at the pile, Mako. Check it out. There we go. Let's keep it on the pavement, though. I don't want to go on the lawn. All right, watch out. Here, ready? I'm going to push it, and then you're going to push it forward. Here we go. Let's push it to him, and then back up. There we go, and then he can take care of the pile. Look at that. Very cool. All right, let's try some first person, see what this thing is like. All right, I'm going to clear. Let's see. We got to go back to the front because we were working on that. Mac, can you work on the back lot? I got the front entrance here. All right, he's going to take care of the parking spots here. Check that out. He's got the new box plow. I, it's just a box plow, not a boss plow. But he can, you know, maneuver around the areas. It takes up every single piece of snow. It doesn't even miss a single dot. All right, we got a little bit of snow right here. Let's go ahead and push that to the side. Let's see. It looks good. Raise it up. Look at this. We're already making great progress. And we have 10 residential homes that we have to do today around the area. That's what we got to take care of in this blizzard. And actually, before we do those 10 residential homes, we have the whole dealership to get done. NP Customs, or NPC, and that is our truck dealership, our lifted truck dealership. We got to go plow that spot. Uh, so, I mean, it's not like a crazy big area. I think we're probably going to bring the John Deere tractor, and I'll probably take one of the work trucks. The skid steers are only for, like, small residential, and we do not have a trailer to haul them. So we cannot take them with us, sadly, today. But we're going to have other cool vehicles we're going to be using in today's snowplow video. So, all right, let's just clean up this, this front entrance. I'm just not, it's not getting there. I don't know why. Let's try and get it to the side a little more. There we go. They're not plows, so they are, you know, you have to kind of like maneuver around a lot. There we go. We could probably push it out in the street. I don't see any problem with that. There we go. Okay. Uh, this one little piece right here, and we are done with the front entrance. We'll go help Mako with the back lot. Let's see here. There we go. Come on. Alrighty, in under five minutes, we are 90% done. He is almost actually finished with this back lot. And that tractor really does help when it comes to, you know, just knocking out the long stretches of a driveway. So that's nice. There we go. Uh, we are not going to lay any salt because we don't really need it right now. It's not too cold. It's not like icing over or anything. So that's nice. 
Uh, let's see here. We're gonna have to move his truck. Yo, the key's in your truck, Mako? Yes, sir. Alright, sounds good. I'm gonna grab it. Let's see. He doesn't really let me drive his truck, but this thing's sweet. You got the toll mirrors on it. Let's put those out and make you look cooler. Alright, I'm just gonna move it over to the parking space. Oh, look at that. The four piles he's got lined up there. Looks good. Alrighty, let's turn it off there. Perfect. Alright, he's gonna probably... Mako, here. Come here. I wanna watch you plow this. Come on. Uh, you got about probably two passes and you're done. There you go. All right, here he comes. Look at that thing. Wow, it's awesome. All right, let me move out of his way. He's building a whole ski hill here. Look at that thing. Wow. Very cool. All righty, he's going to take uh, care of this. And what we're going to do is we're going to fire up the GMC pickups. We're going to be taking two of them out today. 3,500 HDs. They've got the giant western plow. Uh, you know, just the normal standard plows. They got the wing extensions uh, right here. They have the, you know, what are they called these? The poles. They're just markers so they know, you know, where your plow is at all times. We're going to fire these up. Let's see. They're diesels too, so they're nice and loud. Let's fire it up. There we go. I love when diesels are idling. So we're going to fire that one up. That one's staying here. There we go. Let's fire this one up. Fire it up. Perfect. Alrighty, diesels are running. Uh, that means that, you know, the next step is wait till Mako finishes. I'm going to pull my sled inside the shop. Keep the paint looking nice. And while we wait for him to finish, let me give you a little shop tour. So up here, we have storage for parts for all the vehicles. Just boxes of just random parts. Got a PTO there for the tractor. Got storage shelves for the plows. They're not really ideal because they're kind of small shelves. But he can, you know... You can see he's just going to put the plow like right there, but it doesn't really fit. So maybe we get some smaller plows. I'm not sure. Mac, are you ready to head out here? Let's see here. I'm going to back this thing out. Are we going to the dealership now? Yeah, we're going to go ahead to uh, NP Customs and uh, clean up the lot. And then we're going to head to the residential uh, jobs we have to do today. Maybe we should get the wheel loader for the dealership. All right, bring it if you want. It's, it's only across the street. Bring the wheel loader if you feel like it. I'm going to bring the truck for the tight spots in the back lot. But if you don't know, check that thing out. It is huge. There he goes. Watch him pull out. Oh, my gosh. The 524K John Deere wheel loader. Very nice vehicle. Hold on here. We got to drop down the plow. Got a little bit of stuff on the side here. All right. There we go. Look at that. The plows work great, too. All righty. All right. We're heading across the street to NP Customs. Let's turn on the hazards here. That way they know that we're in charge. We got the plow trucks. These diesels are powerful. The traction is pretty good. I'd say they're standard for a pickup, but, you know, we've got a lot of a lot of tires on this, so it helps. But here we go. We're going to get going, and then he can just follow behind us, pick up the other side. The nice thing is that you can go about 15 miles an hour before you start to lose, you know, the nice clean lines of snow plowing. All righty, here we go. Let's edge it. We're going to edge the whole property for him so he can just come in scoop all the stuff in the middle and push it to the side so look at that we're not going to clean up underneath the trucks uh but right along the side is probably the best we could do it there we go all right we got the little transport truck there perfect let's raise up plow perfect and then we got to go all the way back to where we started and then all right he's right behind us but it looks like he's struggling there with the uh piles of snow so here let's help him out here let's get this pushed over to the side and I'm going to pile it up just in the middle for him. That way he can just come in with that giant wheel loader and just take care of business. So here we go. Look at our snow piles, though. This is, this is doing pretty good for a 3,500. It is a diesel, though. Oh, my bad, Mako. I didn't see you there. Hold on here. All right, let me push everything to the side for you. There we go. Look at this thing. Okay. I'm going to go work on the back lot because he's going to take care of the rest. Uh, let's see here. we got to angle our plow. It is all hydraulic here. There we go. Western plow to the side. Perfect. All right, we should be good here. The building actually blocks a lot of the snow. If you can see on the side here, there's absolutely no snow. So it's kind of nice. It blocks in part of it. There we go. Let's push this snow bank over there. Looks good. This lot should be fairly easy for me to get done. We can just do kind of an easy job on it. We don't have to go anything fancy. Let's try to get the rough part off, but uh, it's just... Mako's got to get all these trucks prepped, ready to go inside. So as long as he can get enough traction to get the trucks back here, prep them, we'll be good to go. 
All right, there we go. Push it. Oh my gosh, we lost some traction there. Kind of getting a little messy. I'll probably have Mac will come in the back, clean it up. Look at this thing. There we go. Come on. All righty, there we go. All right, let's try and push this straight down the center. Oh, Mac, what's going on, man? What's the problem? Uh, I think the uh, big box plow is broken on the... Broken? All right, man, let's go check it out here. I'll follow you. Uh, so you think it just snapped off or something, or what happened? Yeah, like, you know, the little uh, metal bar that's, like, under the plow to, like, catch up everything? Yeah, yeah. Is it, it all like, destroyed? It's a little trail behind. Oh, that's not good. All right, man. Yeah. Um, All right, Uh, what we should do is we should probably bring in another plow truck. You want to go run across the street, take this back. And then, uh, yeah, come back with a plow truck and we'll knock out the rest of this lot. We only got about another 30, 40% and we're finished. So, all right, uh, I'll come back in a minute and then, uh, we'll get the rest of this lot cleared out here. But yeah, it's kind of looking like a mess. He is, is, is saying that the bottom of the part of that plow is broken. So, all right, we're going to get that fixed ASAP. We're not left stuff, you know, broken at all. We got to get the service tech out there tomorrow, even maybe today. But all right, I'm going to get back in my work truck and get this lot cleared out. And I'll see you guys once we are finished. And then uh, we're going to go ahead to some residential. Alrighty, we are done with the back lot. Let's go check up on Mako. How is he already finished? He had a ton of stuff to do. Oh, well, that explains it. He had the tractor with the Mako. Mako, come over here. What happened to the truck, man? We're going to take this thing all the way down to residential. Well, I saw the trucks, and then I saw this, and this is way cooler than the truck. Yeah. Yeah, I do have to agree with you on that. I mean, this is a lot cooler. We should get another one for sure. Uh, hold on. You got the plates on the back? Uh, oh, no plates. Okay, uh, just follow me and then put your hazards on. I think you should be able to go down the road because I have the, the worker's permit, commercial uh, permit. So you should be fine going down the road. Uh, we're going to head down to residential, take care of uh, to those 10 contracts, and then we'll be done for the day. And tomorrow, we got to come out and clean these trucks up, man. Uh, we got to power wash them all, put them inside, all that cool stuff. So we'll come back tomorrow and do that once this snowstorm passes, hopefully. But, you know, this has got to melt first, and then it's going to be a sloppy mess. So we probably should leave it. All righty, guys. Well, me and Mako, we're going to get done. Uh, today's snow plowing. We got 10 more contracts to get finished. I hope you enjoyed snow plowing. If you want to see us, you know, do more snow plowing, hit the like button and put your notifications on. I'd appreciate it a ton, guys. Go check out our TikTok, and yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.